This is an example of geometric patterns which can be constructed by using the Georgia commands with some ideas of coding. We can first suggest students to analyze this figure, try to imagine how it can be constructed, or even how it can be drawn by hand. Later on, we can try to adjust these parameters and invite them to discuss again how this pattern can be created. So while doing so, they will start thinking about in what way we can create a number of figures in this way using the command and using the transformation ideas. At the same time, they can also compare with some examples below. So these are all patterns that can be created by using the applets above, just simply by changing the parameters. So we can invite them to create some of these or start to think about how the parameter should be set in order to have some of these figures. Now we come to the front page again to look at the way to create this figure from the beginning. We choose the apps Georgia Classic. So here is a blank page. We start with two points. A and B, and use it to draw a regular polygon. So we create a polygon with five sides. So this is a regular pentagon. And you can see the name here. Poly1 stands for the new objects created, which is a polygon of regular, uh, a regular polygon with five sides. Now we can start adding some slider, which make some variables to control the figure. For example, the first one N stand for the number of sides. So we may make it from three to eight increments of one. So go back to the arrow key, and then you can see a slider is created. We can hide the slider on the left. Now, while this is equal to n, so we can modify the command of this regular polygon. So we can change the number of sides to n. Here, you will find that the number of sides is being controlled by n. Now we create two more slider. So one is an angle, so we make it equal to T, and range from 0 to 360 degree. Okay. So here you can start to use the rotation command. to rotate the objects poly 1 by an angle T and about the point A. So that is the full command. Rotate the poly 1 by an angle T about the point A. So once finished, then you can see a new polygon, poly 1 dash here. So which is the result of rotating the first polygon. So we can make more than one such polygons. Now we modify this command. So instead of doing just one rotation, we do a sequence of rotation. But we have to make it a multiple of t. That means the angle to uh, for rotation is t times a variable k, while k 
range from 0, let's say, to 10. Then we'll create 10 copies of such rotation. And here, so, so you can see a sequence of objects is created here. So this is a list of objects. By rotating the figure 10 times based on the angle T. Now we further modify this list by creating, introducing another slider. This represents the number of copies we want to create. We can range from 1 to 100, for example. So we can move around this a little bit. So D will represent the number of copies we want to produce. So we go back to this command and now change the number of copy to D. So K will range from 0 to D. And we press Enter. So you can see the number of copies depends on D. And T will still maintain the rotation angles. So to make it easier to distinguish these constructions from the original polygon, we first hide the list here. Okay, so you just click the circle, then you hide the list. And we change the polygon to the maximum number of size. And select all things. And hide the objects. So just uncheck this box, show objects. So originally, the, the original polygon is now hidden, but you can still see the list. This is the list, and you may change the color by going through here. You can still display the point A and B, right? So for controlling the first size. Now we add one more point to be the center of rotation instead of A. So this is the point I, the new point we create. So we put it around here. So we go back to the list. And now this time, We modify the center. So it's not A, but the point I. So it will rotate about the new point. So we press Enter. So the whole figures will depend on I. And A, B still are still the first side of the polygon. So this shows how the command we use in the uh, GeoGebra can be gradually modified by using suitable parameters. And this idea is quite similar to a certain coding process in computational thinking.